my general type um, of guy is usually one who looks like he'll ruin my life. <laughs> Typical. Unfortunately, you're not very bright. That might be a call of exorcist. All right, now that it's 2023, I'm going to be making an updated version on how to make any man fall in love with you. Looks like we're still going to need a fat ass and big titties. They seem to love it. We're also going to need to know how to cook and clean. That's what we're here for, right? And last but not least, it looks like we still will be shutting the hell up. Zip it. You're learning well. What was your worst dating experience? I sucked his dick, right? One time. And my mom. Oh, no. What's, I don't, what's happening here now? My mom come in. Sucked his dick anyway. You, you a nasty ass bitch. I'm going to need you to raise your standards immediately. Not when you get prettier. Not when you get skinnier. Right fucking now. Because in this society as a woman, we get blamed for literally everything. You can be in a relationship with someone and if he leaves you or if you have a baby and he leaves you, you know what they'll tell you? Pick better men. Choose better men. But if your standards are too high, you know what they'll tell you? Ew. Humble yourself. Who do you think you are? You're never going to find anyone with standards that high. So you might as well raise them. It's honestly a win-win. Because when you do find someone that meets your standards, and for whatever reason it doesn't work out, you can walk away feeling fulfilled. You got princess treatment, memories, great memories, gifts, trips, whatever it is that you find fulfillment in. There is nothing more painful than getting your heart broken by a dusty, someone that's broke or ugly or all of the above. That is the worst pain and I do not wish that on my worst enemy. So we might as well, as a collective, raise the standard because at the end of the day, it's a win-win. Don't make yourself a fool. Okay, this is for the men and the men only why are you like this so i'm on dating apps well not anymore i just deleted them all fucked them all deleted my accounts i can't i can't deal with you guys why do you guys have great conversation and then ask for my number or my snapchat whatever and then ghost me like i just had a guy that i was talking to great conversation and this has been happening like i find more and more we had great conversation. We're talking all night. Last night, he asked for my number. I give him my number. And he's like, oh, do you have Snapchat too? I gave him my Snapchat. He never added me. Nothing ever came of it. And then this morning, he fucking unmatched me out of nowhere. And I find this happens over and over and over again. Or I'll be talking to a guy. He'll make plans. And the day of, I hear nothing. And then the next day after the plans just never happened, he unmatches me or deletes me. And I'm like, sir, we haven't talked. We had plans. I didn't hear from you. You didn't confirm plans. I waited around all night, didn't hear a word from you. I didn't do anything. Like, why? Why do you guys do this? What am I doing? Maybe it's something I'm doing. What am I doing wrong? Please enlighten me. Lips fuller. So she's telling unattractive and overweight women to raise their standards. And it's more than likely their standards will be unrealistic and will not fit their dating market value. Then she goes on to say, if they raise their standards and do meet a high standard guy, but he walks away, at least they experience that type of princess treatment from a high standard guy. She's basically saying women feel fulfilled when they get pumped and dumped by Chad, as long as they can get Chad to be nice to them for a few days. It's not a win-win if a woman's ultimate goal is to be in a long-term relationship, though. Poor, deluded females. According to the woman in the video before this, you should have high standards. So it shouldn't matter if he ghosts you because you are chasing after Chad's princess treatment. Keep your standards high. Maybe someday you'll actually get a date from one of these guys and he will smash and pass, then you will feel fulfilled. This is how women's bad dating advice leads to them destroying each other. Men advise them to be realistic. Women tell each other to have unrealistic expectations. So we see the results right now. They brought their fates upon themselves. Real men of genius.